Hey guys, it's Xiao. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I organize all my crafting items using my IKEA Raskog card. So if you guys haven't heard about this card, a lot of DIYers or people that I follow on Instagram have this card to use to organize all of their crafting or stationary items. So I use mine specifically for crafting, but I've been kind of um, putting some of my stationary items in it as well, and you guys will see that in the video. But I thought it will be fun to show you guys how I organize all of my crafting items. Um, so so this cart retails for $25 off of Craigslist, but, but I actually got it off of Craigslist for $10, so it saved me $15. So anytime I want to purchase anything from IKEA, I always, 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 and I really recommend checking out Craigslist first or any kind of like app that is similar to Craigslist. So I have an app called Let Go, and then this other one that I don't remember, but it's basically like Craigslist but in an app form. So this really helps save you money, and 90% of the furniture or IKEA items in my apartment is from Craigslist so like for this shelf that's from Ikea I got it off of Craigslist in a like big set of like a drawer and a table and another side table for like $80 so I saved so much money also when you purchase off of Craigslist the furniture is already put together so that saves a lot of time um, so that is just my little tip to save a little bit of money and time also when I was looking at the Ikea carts online I found that Michaels sells a pretty similar cart and retails for $60 but right now online it's on sale for $30. They have a really cute mint color. I'm looking down at my laptop. They have a mint color, a white, and then like an, a gray one. And then I also found that Target sells like an identical cart to Ikea and it originally is $30 but right now it's on sale for $25 online here they have a gray and then an off-white one so I will make sure to leave all the links to those cards down below if you guys want to check out and kind of compare between the cards but I hope you guys enjoy this video also if you guys are new to my channel please make sure to press subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me and also if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up but without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it all right guys so this is my IKEA Rats call cart I love it like I stated, I got it off of Craigslist for about $10 and I love storing all of my crafting items in it because it makes doing DIY videos so easy because then I don't have to go and pick out the things that I need. I can just take the whole cart with me. So this is what it looks like and just a small quick overview. So let's go ahead and start up at the top here. Alright, so for the top tier here, I usually like to keep it empty so that I can put all of the items that I need for my current DIY up top. But lately, I've been putting a lot of my stationery items for when I do plan with me videos it just makes it a lot easier just to get them instead of going into my drawer back there and taking them out so back here I have a lot of the me and my big ideas sticker books which I'm sure you guys are very aware of and then I have these little um, containers that I got from Walmart that come in sets and are very very affordable so in this one I keep a lot of the sticky notes and notepads from like Target and just some small collection um, some random ones that I keep in this corner and then over here I have a little bucket of all of my Polaroid pictures that um, I've been meaning to scrapbook so if you guys have seen my previous videos I always mention that I want to start scrapbooking with my Polaroids but I haven't really gotten to it so I just like to keep them all here make sure they're all together and then here I have this little cup here that I got from Edible Arrangements that came with their little fruit thing um, I just keep all of my paintbrushes in here and I have quite a bit some I need to throw out because they're all like crusty but I just keep them up here and then on the side of my cart I have these two little hook cups from Ikea as well um, and these were also very affordable so this first one I just keep pens and pencils and then this other one I keep a lot of my crafting tools so I have my hot glue gun which I finally got a new one after quite some time I know when I made a lot of DIY videos a lot of people were commenting that I need to get a new one because my old one was so gross and then I also have a exacto knife and then this little tool also have a hole punch and then just some pliers and stuff like that so a lot of people actually put these cups on this side you can fit three on this side I used to do that but the way that I store this cart I kind of like push into a corner so that's why I like to cook these on the side so that it can fit in a smaller space um, rather than putting the cups on this side but either way it works really really well you could even double up and put more cups over here like probably put them throughout and then on these other tiers too if you need extra storage so I love this cart and how compatible it is with these hanging cups 
All right, now moving on to the second tier. This is where I keep a lot of my paints, as you can see. So I have a lot of acrylic paint from the brand Craftsmart. These are sold at Michaels, comes in sets, or you could get them individually. And these are just really affordable. I like to use these for our little DIY paint nights at home. And then I also have these Martha Stewart vintage decor um, paints that um, I worked with them quite a while ago, but these are really cool and there's a lot, so I just keep them here. I also have a textile medium back here and this is great for mixing with acrylic paint and it turns it into fabric paint so you do half half of that and then it turns it into fabric paint and then in the back here I just have some extra streamers that I used quite some time ago I just like to keep them there and then here I have another little basket from Walmart um, and then here I just keep really random things just materials from some old DIYs I have this little tape dispenser thing a lot of sewing tools so I have these pens safety pens needles this cute little thing that I think was from Michaels um, but it's just really cool like handy daddy to go little thing in case you need to sew anything up and then it's just some um, fabric dye just some tie-dye ink and then a little watercolor palette here and then just some miscellaneous materials like I stated from some old DIYs all right, and then last but not least is the last tier. So this one, again, just very random materials from some old um, DIYs. So again, I have baskets from Walmart to help organize them. And this one is a lot of yarn. And I have some of these elastic bands that I did for my DIY bachelorette video. And then I have some cute little pom-poms here. More yarn and ribbons. And then in this one, again, more random DIY items. I have some yarn and some pearls from a very very popular DIY decorative um, necklace which I will link down below this is probably one of my most viewed video um, so I still have the pearls here and then I have some other random pom-poms more dye paint some little cute little crystals from a very old DIY little cute baggies um, let's see little pins that I did for a DIY like little hanging picture thing and then in this bin is just more random things. I have a lot of these little glitter containers. Um, and then over here is some chalk markers and just some random markers. More glitter, some glue, more All glitter. Alright guys, so that is it for what I keep in my IKEA Rask Hog cart. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I know it's very quick but um, I keep it quite simple. Just a lot of old DIY materials that I could probably reuse again. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!